Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and today I'm going to be building a survival house for you guys. So this is going to be a super basic survival house that you can build, I would say, within the first two and a half, maybe three days of your Minecraft world when you first open it up. Uh, what I'm going to be using for this build is some smooth sandstone, some oak wood slabs, some regular oak wood planks, some glass, torches, doors, you know, all the whole nine yards, fences, fence gates, and trap doors. And uh, basically what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to build this house. It's going to take not even 20 minutes to build this thing and what i wanted to show you guys before i started was the exact amount of blocks you're going to need to build this thing in survival just to give you guys a total in-depth uh, process on this so i overestimated just in case you like you know mess up or something like that if you accidentally break some glass so you probably need about a half a stack of glass maybe 36 blocks i estimate i overestimated rounded it to 40 just in case you accidentally break a couple blocks you're gonna need about three stacks of oak wood slabs and about three and a half stacks of smooth sandstone again this is stuff that you can get pretty much right away on minecraft so like right when you open a world if you spawn near a desert biome maybe you find a uh, desert temple you know you can mine that whole thing up with smooth sandstone you'll be good to go and even if you can't you can just either mine sand and convert it into sandstone um, or you could just mine sandstone and convert it into smooth sandstone because it's a direct conversion four to four but anyway um that's basically what i want to show you guys you know just this is what you're going to need to uh to build this house in survival the exact materials i'm building in creative just for the time's sake but let's go ahead and get started guys so this is going to be kind of like a a very very simplistic simple uh tutorial house pretty much for survival you know it's not really for creative it's going to be way too simple for creative but it's going to be perfect for starting up a world in survival all right so let's get started so i have this four this four block tall pillar of smooth sandstone to start and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 11 back. So we already have one. So I'm going to go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then I'm just going to kind of follow this back and fill this whole thing in. So I have a 4 by 11 wall of smooth sandstone to start. The style of this house is going to be kind of like, it's. this doesn't really have a style. It's just going to be a very simple survival house for you guys. And uh, you guys hopefully will like the design of it when it's done. It's a pretty cool design, I'd say. It's very simple, though. Anyway, we have this 4 by 11 wall, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and line some slabs on top of this. The reason why I'm doing this and lining slabs, and you'll see as we go along, monsters can't spawn on slabs, mobs can't spawn on slabs, so you don't have to worry about them spawning on top of your roof. Alright, so we have that pretty much squared away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in two blocks right here. I'm going to place a glass block. So we have two blocks right here of opening and then a glass block. I'm going to take that up three. I'm going to jump a block and take it up three again, and then fill in the top. And of course you know what's going to go in this two by one space our first door so there we go next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and take a five block tall sandstone pillar right there not four but five this time and it's only going to be one block away from the glass here not two like this side and this is going to go back eight blocks so we already have one so we're going to go two three four five six seven and eight you want it to be two blocks away from the edge here and take this up and just fill it all in and this is going to be our second wall so take this and just Fill the whole thing in like that. And we're looking pretty good as a start. So next thing we're going to do is I'm going to place four blocks of smooth sandstone right here. One, two, three, four in a line. Indented one block in from this wall. And then I'm going to take another five block tall pillar of smooth sandstone right there. Kind of like matching up with that wall. And this is going to be pretty much the exact same thing going across. Except instead of eight like this wall, it's only going to be seven. So I already got one. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And again, you just want to fill the rest of this thing in. All right, so we'll get this filled in. So now on top of the sandstone lining we just made right here, we're going to go ahead and place four by four of glass. So we're going to have four, and then four more, and then two more, for a total of 16 glass blocks in a four by four square, just like that. So we're going to have a nice big window, and I add a nice pretty effect to the house. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go three blocks in, or sorry, no, we're going to go four blocks in from this wall like this, so right here. And I'm going to go ahead and place a 2x2, two two, just like that. And this is going to go all the way up. Take this up 7 blocks. So we already have just like that. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So that's going to go up 7 blocks. And that's going to be kind of like a fake chimney. It's just really for, like, show. It's not really going to have any use. Um, it just makes the house look a bit prettier. So we're going to have a fake chimney right there. All right, so next thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to start to fill in some of this roof. So the roof is going to be an 8x11 roof. So we're going to start off by doing eight blocks. So we're going to have our first one right here, our second one here, and then we're going to come across from here. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this is going to come out two blocks from this. So we're going to have two blocks of the slabs going across. And again, 
Roof made out of slabs, the monsters can't spawn on it. So we're going to fill this in here. And again, this is going to go 8 by 11. So we already have 3 going in this direction. We have the 8 going that direction. We've got 3 here. So we're going to go ahead and take this back 11. So we already have 3. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It wants to be 1 block off the edge of this side, which is 5 by 8, and only and 2 blocks off of this side, which is going to be 5 by 7. So I just want to kind of wrap that around, take it through, and then just fill the whole thing in with your slabs that you've acquired. Again, uh, this house is perfect if you're spawning like kind of near a jungle biome and near like a forest because you can cut down a bunch of trees, get your slabs, and then just, uh, you know, shovel up a bunch of sand or mine some sandstone, get your sandstone, and you can build this thing pretty quickly. So, again, I tried to make a house that has some cool blocks, but it's not it's not like super duper, you know, dirt house or anything like that. It looks has still has a cool look to it, but it's, you know, it's going to be easy for you to get like right away when you first start a world. So, we're going to place four more slabs on top of that chimney. Another thing I'm going to add is just a little turn right there. So we're going to take four blocks and kind of like a backwards L shape of sandstone. Of course, we're going to line that as well, just for a little bit of a look. So just like that, that's looking great. So now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and take this chimney here, and we're going to line up another, um, I guess, little lining of uh, sandstone. So it's going to line up with a chimney. So basically, you just want to come to the right block of the chimney from this angle and just kind of follow your cursor all the way across to this block right here. And just for just to show you guys, it's five blocks away from this side. So we count one, two, three, four, five. You want to just do it that way. And then you want to count out five more. So it's five this way and then five this way. So we got two, three, four, five. Again, five this way, five this way. You want to stack this up two blocks. And you want to make this two blocks wide as well on the outside here. All right. And then of course, like always, we're going to place the slabs on top of this. Just like that. So now we're going to fill in this part of the roof. So what I'm going to do for this guy is I'm going to take some more slabs, and I'm just going to run them across the top of the glass, have them come out one, come out two, come out three. We're going to cut it across this sandstone, cut it across this sandstone as well, and then we're going to cut it one block into the glass like that. All right? And then on this side, this is just going to run all the way down through here until it's one block away from the edge, so you want to leave one block opening here. The idea is that this, the slabs kind of cut through the block in like the design, so... The slab would kind of continue through this wall to the other side and run through here. And that's going to go out some at some point. We haven't decided how far that's going to go yet. But we have decided that we're going to go ahead and fill this whole thing in right here. So we're going to go ahead and have this all filled in like that. All right, so here's what the front of the house is looking like right now, guys. Looking pretty good, but we have to work on the back of the house. So, so the back of the house, we're going to add some glass as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So... First thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and add some more sandstone here. So I'm going to add kind of like a little donut of sandstone here, kind of wrapping around, and then I'm going to stick a glass block right in the middle of that. All right, that's looking great. You want to have three blocks of leeway here and then one here. And then what you want to do is actually you're going to go ahead and take some, let's see here. We're going to have to take a pillar of sandstone down right here, just like that. And then you want to come in one block, place a sandstone, place another sandstone, place another sandstone right there. So when you're looking at it from this angle, you kind of have like these two sandstones opened right here. And then you can just fill in the rest of that right there. So you have kind of like a three block wide wall here with like this little indent of two blocks. So what you want to do from there is just go ahead and fill this all the way up with glass, four blocks up on both sides like that. And you can take it down three in the middle. And then of course, in this two by one space, we're going to place our second door. And then what you want to do is all this empty space in here, you want to just kind of connect the slabs, just like that. And then you can actually go ahead and take that out one block extra so it kind of cuts through that sandstone. And that's looking pretty good. So as far as the house, uh, we're, we almost have it pretty much closed off. In fact, we do. So that's pretty much all we have to do on the exterior of the house. So we're going to go on the inside, do a little bit to it. And basically, you can build this whole thing with, the, with all the blocks that I have in my inventory, like I said at the beginning of the video. You can build this whole thing just like that. I'm going to add some more details to it right now, which is kind of like what I'm saying. So these things don't apply to the kind of inventory that I gave you other than this stuff over here, which is we're still working on. But I'm just going to spruce up the place to kind of show you guys what it could potentially look like if you add a little few more like uh, things that aren't necessarily needed for survival, but they might just make the place look a little bit better. So obviously the first thing you can do is switch out the floor for some oak wood. That's something obviously just so your floor looks better so it's not just grass. You don't want your floors just grass. That kind of looks lame and shows you didn't put a lot of effort into it. So you want to make your houses look pretty even in survival. So you have this uh, four block wide wall here. You want to just punch a hole in the middle of this here. So you have kind of like this three block wide room in here. 
So you want to go ahead and place those two blocks back. So you want to have one block here, two blocks there. And you can even put a third door in here if you want. It's not necessary because it's not really connected to the outside. So you're not really protecting yourself from anything. But you can if you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in there. Place our door right back. And then you can pretty much do whatever you want in this room. I'm going to show you guys a demo of how I would in uh, furnish this in here. But uh, of course, you can do whatever you want with it. So uh, let me come back out here and uh, start with that demo. So first thing I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do is just kind of clear my inventory for now. I'm just going to get out some of the stuff that we're going to need. So crafting tables, ender chests, regular chests, beds, uh, brewing stands, you know, all this stuff, furnaces. And I'm also going to grab some stairs and some slabs. So basically, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to place some full blocks right there. And I'm going to place some beds on top. Break those blocks underneath and then place some chests. So you want to try to compact these things as best you can. And then I can go ahead and place a crafting table in the middle. So those chests are easily accessible right when you walk in the door. And you also can sleep right above that. So what I'm going to do now that I have my beds placed down, I'm going to replace those in my inventory with some torches and light this place up a little bit. That is not what I want to do. So we got a torch right there. I'm going to place another one right there. And basically, I just recommend just torching this place up all over. It can never hurt to add a lot of torches on a house because you can, you know, obviously you want to protect yourself from the mobs. So uh, it never hurts to add a ton of torches all over the place. Just kind of spam them all over your house. And you can even switch it out with glowstone later on if you want to. If you can like, put some glowstone on the ground around your area, that's fine. If you're really going to get fancy with it. Anyway, in here, I'm going to place two furnaces like that. I'm going to place a crafting table here. I'm going to go ahead and place an ender chest. Actually, I'm going to place the ender chest there. Place two stacks of chests. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and grab an anvil. That's something I could use. Grab an anvil and throw it right there. Looks pretty good. And then on this wall right here, you can go ahead and add... I'm going to put a stair and a slab. And I'm going to put a couple of brewing stands on there. Clear my inventory again, grab a cauldron, grab some water. Again, this isn't really necessary. Cauldrons are kind of silly because you can just go right to the water if you're building near water. But if you have nowhere near water, you're in the middle of the desert. Because after all, this is built out of sand, so good chance you might be in the middle of the desert. There's your there's your uh, cauldron right there for you. Easy access. So uh, last thing I'm going to do on the interior is just go ahead and place a glass block opening right there. Just so we have an extra little window. And of course, I'm going to place a, another torch. So that's, a, that's just my demo for how you could do the interior in here again. Fits two people. Plenty of chest space, got a couple of furnaces, ender chest, all that stuff. Nice and compact. Uh, obviously, you're going to have to make a different uh, building for like enchantment and stuff like that. So you need the bookshelves and all that stuff. But it, this place is obviously open for expansion. You could, I guess, knock this wall out over here and expand it. Uh, and you can even switch out the blocks later on. Like you could switch out the sandstone for quartz maybe later on. Or even like this for quartz and then switch this out for maybe a stained clay. Again, this is just kind of like a design off the start. But you can still use this design for if you're more further along in survival world. So that's pretty much uh, how it goes, guys, as far as the interior demo. So I'm going to do a couple of little things on the outside before we conclude today's episode. Again, this thing this thing literally takes like 10 minutes to build in creative. I usually like to estimate that things take about three times as long to build in survival. Um, including gathering material or not including gathering materials since you have to like you know you don't have the ability to fly so i would say this thing is going to take you about 20 30 minutes to build in survival after you gather materials so let's say 30 minutes from the start of the world so that's about three nights on a game so three days and nights so you can build this thing pretty quick and that's pretty much the whole goal of this video is to get have you guys build a pretty cool looking house something that looks fancy doesn't look like, like a little dirt hut you know, it holds its own in terms of the aesthetic features and, you know, it's going to be able to something you can build really quickly. That was the whole goal of this when I was kind of coming up with a design. All right. So let's see here. We're going to have some ladders and just for the demo, uh, this could be a potential strip mine right here. So you can place your ladders on this like that and then place a trap door again, potential strip mine right there. You could have the fence gate come in here and you could go dive down into your strip mines down there. So that's a thing you could put right there. And then what I like to do on my house is just, just kind of like add a little bit of greenery so it looks a little bit better. So, of course, this is totally unnecessary for survival because it's just this is all aesthetic things and you don't have to add this to your world. I'm just going to add this for the sake of the example. Just kind of spam some bushes all over the place. I love to do this. So uh, we're doing that. Looks great. And again, like I said, there are not going to be any mobs spawning on your roofs because of the slabs, which is another awesome thing. So what I'm going to do is uh, one more thing I'm going to do in the interior. So I'm going to go ahead and get some trap doors out and some more fence or some more ladders, as I meant to say. And I'm going to make a little trap door space up here. And just so you can access the roof if you need to in survival. Again, really no reason to come up here. But if you need to, that's your way to do it. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much how I would conclude 
Uh, of course, there's other things you can do. For example, you can add a little like cobblestone path out front if you want, like a little curved path kind of running through here if you really want to do that. And you can randomize it with some random blocks. So you can have like some cobblestone, mix in some regular stone in here, maybe mix in some dirt. And you can even do that throughout this whole thing as well. But that's another thing I'd suggest. Make sure you torch the whole place up. You can plant some trees around it. And you have yourself a nice little starter house in survival, like literally three days into your world. So three Minecraft days, that is. Not three real life days. You could build an alpine mansion in that time. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys found this pretty helpful for you guys playing survival and looking for something to build at the beginning of your world. Uh, that's what I'm here for, to help you out with that kind of thing. So I uh, hope I did a good job. Give it a like if you did enjoy it, guys. It has been Dan Lags. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys like my simple survival house. Again, something a little bit different. Uh, I like the way it turned out. I like the design of it, and I think it's pretty functional. So, again, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.